What's up everyone, in this video we'll explore Photoshop Elements versus Photoshop. The video talks about the features, pricing and tools of both. So let's get started. Starting with the usage, we use both for different purposes. Photoshop Elements is a cloud based tool for simple photo editing, especially for social media. It's much easier to use than Photoshop. Photoshop is a rich photo editing tool. It offers so many options that half of the options don't even are in use for many people. With its rich editing tools, it comes with a rich interface, which of course takes time to learn. Let's talk about the tools both offer. Photoshop pretty much comes with all the tools that Elements offers. You can even open a file in Photoshop, created or edited in Photoshop Elements because of the same file format. Both programs share quite many tools. If you go with either, you will find layers, PSD file format, crop tool, healing brush, text tool, smart brush, blur, pencil tool, recompose, straighten tool, effects, gradients, custom shape, image and canvas size, and filters. That's pretty much all you need if you want to create basic to advanced photos for social media. If we talk about the tools only available in Photoshop Elements, then the list is not that long. The main tools are moving photos with some built-in animations, adjust facial features with advanced options, duo tone effect, colorize photos, and eye tool. Other than that, you get a few quick editing options such as photo collage, slideshow, photo book, greeting card, etc. Of course, Photoshop also offers tools that are not available in Photoshop Elements. The tools include Lasso, which includes the magnetic lasso tool, magic eraser, magic wand, clone tool, masking, 3D text, layer options, blending, subject selection, and dodge tool. These tools separate Photoshop from Photoshop Elements as well as Lightroom. The next round is about the ease of use. I've already mentioned that Photoshop Elements is easier to use. The tool separates the workspace into quick, guided, and expert. The quick workspace comes with a few quick options to edit photos on the go. The guided workspace comes with guided tutorials separated into categories. The expert workspace is where you get all the tools. The workspace allows you to take full control and responsibility. Photoshop, on the other hand, is crowded. You get the toolbox on the left while the color, swatches, patterns, layers, etc. are on the right. Of course, you can move around things and make the program your own. The window menu on the top pretty much displays all the windows that can be displayed. In terms of learning, I believe that you find more tutorials online on Photoshop. Well, that's because it's more complex and of course it's more popular. Let's move to pricing. Both come into different plans. Photoshop Elements 2021 costs 100 bucks, but it's at 25% discount right now. The software comes into the Elements family, in which you also get Premiere Elements for 150 bucks, but it's on the discount price of 100 bucks at the moment. Moving to Photoshop, you can't purchase Photoshop for a one-time fee. You can either purchase it for $10 per month or acquire the full library of Creative Cloud applications for $53 per month. Of course, the price for all the apps reduces to $20 per month if you are a student or a teacher. Anyway, before we end this video, let's see which one should you choose. From this comparison, Elements is for those who like to edit photos and upload them to social media. Photoshop is for people who want to edit photos professionally and make the photo editing and photography their career. If you're starting out, I suggest signing up for a free trial and experience both yourself. Anyway, with that being covered, it's time to end this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please let me know your favorite choice in the comments down below and like and subscribe if the video helped. Thank you.